Hey everybody, Magpie Gaming here, and this is Lupco Pass in Battlefield 1. This map went live yesterday on the CTE servers, so I just thought I'd give it a quick play and have a full playthrough of one round of this map. So I'm just going to give you an overview of the map and my thoughts and first impressions on it, and then I'll allow the footage to continue playing without me waffling over the top of it. So my first impressions of this map were muted to start with, of course, when you get into a new map, it takes time to work out where you go in. It takes time to get the lay of the land and understand the flow of the map. But once I'd played a couple of rounds and I got into it, I actually really started to enjoy this map. Now, it is a big map. There are seven flags to cap within this map. And one thing I noticed while playing was that that woman got a really good workout with her voice because flags were changing hands every 30 to 40 seconds so she definitely got a verbal workout with her voice it was every like i say every 30 40 seconds it we've lost this map with this flag we've captured that flag and it was just on and on like that now at the moment there aren't many vehicles within this map there are airplanes there was some airplane combat with it i don't know if it's going to support any kind of tank warfare it's um i'm not sure it's really set up for tank warfare i don't think it will be included but it is only on the ct server and of course it isn't the finished article right now so whether they'll be added later or they're not going to be added at all i'm not too sure right now now this map does feature a new cavalry outfit with the a cavalry spear which i myself witnessed quite a few times getting speared by it there was a lot more people playing with the cavalry than any other map whether that's just going to be a fad or whether it continues when the map is released we'll have to wait and see on that but definitely there was a lot of people having a lot of fun with it visually it's an absolutely stunning map it's very bland it's a snow map of course there's not a huge contrast of colors going on but it is a really pretty map to play through you get the nice sunny skies with the crisp snow on the ground you of course get the weather effects you get the fog that one's back but when it starts to snow and you're just running along you can hear the snow falling and the wind swirling and it's very very atmospheric you do like feel a little bit claustrophobic when that's going on it's very closed in but i have to say that the rounds that i played on this map were brilliant i really had a good laugh now it does seem to me that when you start on the left hand side you're basically going downhill and it did seem that every team that started on the left seemed to have a little bit of an advantage but every map that i played ended up being very very close you know it was a thousand tickets to 900 and something every round was really close which i didn't expect from the way that the flow of the game was going but yeah everyone finished pretty close this map does feature the train if you're getting absolutely battered then you will get a train how effective that's going to be i don't know because it's quite closed off on the map it doesn't reach much of the map i think it only reaches two flags but those flags are right at the other end of the map near the enemy's spawn so again another inclusion of the train but not an effective one in my eyes now how long this map will be available on the cte is anybody's guess dice like to do this from time to time and praise the to her has been on there for quite a while and it's been on there that long that people have stopped playing it i've noticed that when i've logged onto the cte there's very few people playing it when i logged on yesterday there were seven servers with this map and every one of them was full i had to queue for quite a while to get in but the length of which it will be on the cte server i don't know so if you you do have CTA access I recommend checking it out now get on there and give it a few goes before it gets removed because the chances are that it will vanish pretty fast once they've done enough testing of the map now this map is due to be released next month in August it's going to release a month early from the Russian DLC in the name of the Tsar and I don't know what the other maps are like but I think they've picked a pretty good map to release it's re I really enjoyed it highly enjoyable a massive map it's very varied gameplay I did think at first that it suited more snipers because the first few rounds i was just getting sniped up on everywhere but once i worked out the lay of the map and i you know knew my way around a little bit more as an infantry assault guy it became quite easy to play practically every flag on the map is very easy to flank so you, you'll secure a flag start to run away and it'll start to be taken from you so really good action really well paced and yeah it gets a thumbs up from me so far now of course this is on the cte server so it's not indicative of finished of a finished product but 
I would think that the map that we actually get will be very much like this. There's probably just some balancing issues that they'll be working out. Maybe the size of the areas for, for capping flags will change from what we've got now to the finished product. But yeah, I enjoyed it immensely. And like I say, if you have CT server access, go check it out. Anyway, guys and girls, I will shut up now and let you enjoy the rest of the footage. As always, thank you very much for watching and listening. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care. Objective butter. Oh, <laughs> 
Objective Charlie. <laughs> we are losing Objective Freddy. Let's go! 
Граната пошла! Objective Potter. We are losing Objective Freddy. Objective Edward.
objective Edward. Objective done. Lost objective Freddy. We have taken objective Charlie. We have lost objective Duff. Lost objective Charlie. We are winning. Приятеля, вот там! 